I'm going to show you the basics of editing with Premiere Pro. This is Premiere Pro and we're looking at the basic editing screen and if you're using a different version of Premiere Pro it may look a little bit different but the essentials are basically still the same. So we have our timeline here, we have our tools here, we have project media here, we have other bits and pieces up here, our video will appear here. Let's get started, let's drag in a short little clip, in fact let's just drag in the intro that I just filmed. And all I need to do is drag it into here. As a matter of fact, you can also drag it straight into the timeline. So we import the media files. An important thing to note is if you move that file to another part of your computer, the link to it will break here and it will mess up your project. So make sure that you don't move your files once you start placing them into your project. All right, once it's there, you can just drag it into our timeline. And here we go, this is starting to look a little bit different now. Let's move this over here out of the way. Okay, so here's our timeline. And as you can see, we've got a range of layers. We've got our clip, of course. Let's just go over some super basics and then we're done. So firstly, we've got our tracks here. We've got audio tracks and video tracks. If you want to add any tracks, just right click and click on either add track. If you're in the video area and you just want to have one more video, or if you want another audio track, just right click and go add track. And it adds in another audio track but maybe you want to add in multiple so let's just right click go add tracks and then you can decide how many you want to do you can scrub like this or you can just type in a number and there you have them next if you want to snip your clip a little bit firstly let's zoom in on our clip if you're using a Mac you can just pinch your trackpad and it'll zoom in and out probably any other laptop will do that just pinch in and out, or you can just grab the little slidey bar down the bottom and drag that in and out to zoom in on your clip. Very handy thing to do. We just find the spot where we want to cut it. Of editing with Premiere Pro. That'll do. Yeah. Right, so we don't want any of that, we just want to cut that there. And we need our cutting tool, which is this one here. Well, it's called the razor tool actually, but there's a shortcut for it and it is the letter C. So whenever we hit C on our keyboard, it brings up the cut tool as well. To go back to our selection tool, just hit V. V being a downward arrow if you like. So V for the selection tool and C for cutting. And then you just place it where you need to cut and cut. And then you just click on the one you want to get rid of. Press delete on your keyboard. And that's that. Let's just say I wanted to trim that little bit out there, which I've done. But let's just say I did. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. Let's say I want to chop out that. So, our yeah, cutter, cut, cut. Back to our selection tool, and there's that. I can just delete that, but it leaves a gap, and that's not handy. If, you, if you're used to using something like iMovie, that gap will just shrink up but it doesn't do that here so we can do right click and we can go ripple delete and that'll that'll suck in the the gap like that or you just delete it like that as you do and then right click and then ripple delete okay guys in this short video I'm it's actually better let's just say you want to uh, remove that sound altogether how would you do that so you click on that and you right click again and you go to unlink. So now the sound and the video tracks are separated. So I can move that sound somewhere else or delete it all together and replace it with something different, whatever. But I don't want to do that. If you want to add in new sounds, same as video, you just dump it in here and then drag it into the place. In fact, you don't even need to dump it there. You can just drag it straight into the timeline wherever it needs to go. Let's do that. Let's find a sound. Let's use this sound here. 
Uh, it's a burp sound. I was using that for another project. Never mind. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm a bit worried. Mm, okay. So if I wanted to use that sound, which I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. I can just move that somewhere appropriate. Hey guys, in this. Changing the volume of the track. Um, I can change the volume of the entire track. A good way to do that is to go into the um, audio screen, which may be in different places on different versions of Premiere Pro. But the audio screen gives you this little setup. So you can see all your, your different tracks that exist and you can change the volume of them all. So this is A2. Uh, which one's A2? I'm guessing it's this one. Yep, notice how that's got a little effect supplied there now. So that, uh, that will affect every um, audio on that track. If I want to um, edit particular or specific audio clips, I can just right click and go to audio gain, just a fancy way of saying volume I suppose. And you can just scrub it up and down through the decibels. The bigger the decibels, the louder the sound. Minus decibels is less sound, of course. You can set gains to a specific decibel if you know what it is, but sometimes it's just easy to grab that and bring it up or down. You can do your own voiceovers using these. Make sure you mute your own speakers first before you record, otherwise you get the horrible feedback loop. If you want to change the pitch or anything to do with that sound, let's right click on it again. And let's go to speed duration and we can reverse it we can maintain its audio pitch if we make it shorter or longer so we can change the duration of the clip here we can make it go for longer we can either maintain the audio pitch or let the pitch drop down with it let's see what that does hey guys in this short video i'm going that sounds like a dinosaur or something now let's just say you wanted to put some sort of fade in and out some sort of transition if you will well we can do that too let's go back to editing let's go to the effects we've got some effects up here these may be if you're using an older version like cs6 these will be down in this corner depending on which um, screen you're using so you just have to go and look for these and here you've got audio effects audio transitions video effects video transitions and you can apply these to your clips so for example you want to do a fade out you've got three different kinds of crossfade I can never remember We'll use exponential fade. Let's put it on the end of that. And once it's there, you can actually lengthen the effect. Let's play this. The basics of editing. With I'm sure plenty of people would like to do that. Just fade me out. To delete it, you just click on it and hit the delete button. Simple as that. Now exporting, you go up to your file menu. Here we go to export and choose media. Oh my goodness, man. Select the appropriate format. H2.64 is good for YouTube. Then you click on the export button and away you go. And that's it, your editing is done. Hope that's useful, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.